Hey, today I wanna to talk about how to become more advanced and give you three steps to upgrade your bass playing. I'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar. And over at eBay'sGuitar.com, I'm currently in the middle of writing a brand new course called Fretboard Elevation. So today, I wanna to give you a sneak peek behind some of the concepts you'll see inside that course. In just a second, I'm gonna show you how you can start getting confident using the whole of the fretboard and also integrate some of those super cool left hand or fretting hand articulations, which will make you stand like the top pros and upgrade your bass playing. But first off, I've got a quick favor to ask. So a few weeks back, I was staggered to discover that 80% of people who watch the e bass Guitar YouTube channel on a regular basis are not subscribed to the channel. My goal is to get this down to 50% over the next few months. So what does this mean? The more people we have subscribed to the channel, the more we can grow the reach of this great educational bass content, and the more of this content we can make, and the more bass players we can help. So I would love you just to simply hit that red button, which is somewhere around this video. One last thing before we get going, it's a completely free PDF that comes with this lesson, which will show you everything we're discussing today, written out in standard notation and tab. It's super important you download this because we give you all of the detail of the lesson. There is a link in the description below where you can grab your free copy. So right now I'm gonna take you through three techniques which will upgrade your bass playing. The first one is you're probably already familiar with the major scale. And there is so much you can get from these simple eight notes. Once you start really understanding how this works, the whole of music will open up. So what I wanna start with is a simple G major scale, which you should already know. It sounds like this. So it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. So simple fingering that we're gonna use all the time in this exercise is Two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Where the scale starts getting interesting is we can break it up into patterns to really explore how it works. So I wanna show you how we can break this into groupings of three right now. So let's start off by playing the first three notes, which is G, A, B. Then we play the next three notes, which is A, B, C. And then the next three notes, which is B, C, D. Next three notes, which is C, D, E. Next three notes, which is D, E, F sharp. Next three notes, which is E, F sharp, G. And then the last three notes, which is F sharp, G, and then the A at the top, and then back to the G like so. So we get this ascending. Now we can do this descending as well. What I want you to do is start on a B on the G string. So we're gonna go B, A, G, and then we're gonna go A, G, F sharp, and then we're gonna go G, F sharp, E, then we're gonna go F sharp, E, D, E, D, C, D, C, B, C, B, A, A, B, A, G, like that. Now, when you play these groupings of three, I want you to put a little accent on the first one. So the first one of the three stands out, so. And this will make it more musical. So what I wanna to do to make this real world and take it into something that sounds really interesting, really cool, is put this with a drum track. I'm using a six, eight drum track here, so the groupings of three really work nicely. This is what it sounds like. So that's the foundation of our lesson today, and that's a super cool exercise in itself. So to start upgrading your playing a level again, what I want you to do is take this same exercise and just play it on the G string so you can get comfortable moving up and down the fretboard. So let's look at how we could play this on the G string. We could play each grouping of three as a position shift like this. 
and this is fine till we hit the C, but the problem is we need to use this extended fingering, which many players find hard. But what I want to do is show you another pattern of how you can do the position shifts, which sounds even more musical. So let's look at how this more musical fingering works. I really encourage you to download the PDF because this is going to give you all the, the detail which you can dig into. But let's take it apart. The first three notes are pretty much as you would expect. You go G, A, B like that. And I want you to do open one, two, and three. Sorry, open one, three like that. Now this is where it gets interesting. We want to go one on the A, then do a position shift in the middle of the grouping of three to the B, then to the C. So that's one, one, two like that. Then the B is directly under our hand. We position shift again in the middle of the phrase to the C. And then the C is right under our fingers for the next grouping of three. And then we position shift forward to the E. And then back to the E, position shift forward in the middle of the phrase like that. And on we can keep this pattern going. Now, when we get to the top, we can come backwards. So let's shift up to the B on the G string up here. We're gonna start that on the third finger. And then, so we're gonna go three, three, one, like that. And so we shift on that second note of the phrase. And then the next note of the phrase, the A is directly under our fingers. And then we shift in the middle of the phrase again like that. G is directly under our fingers. We shift again under the phrase like that. And then we, sh the F sharp's under our finger. Then we shift back. And so the pattern continues like this. So we end up with this really musical way of shifting up and down the neck without using extended fingering. So let me show you how this works slowly. Don't forget to check it out in the PDF which comes with the lesson. So once you've got that down slowly, try it with the drum track up to tempo. So let's move on to step three and show you how you can elevate this even further. What I want to do is start sticking in some articulation with our fretting hand. And what I mean by that is hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides. And this will make it sound even more musical. The critical thing that we're going to be doing here is that we're only going to be playing the first of every three notes with our plucking hand. So let me show you how this works. There are two patterns that we're going to learn. One for the ascending version of the scale and one for the descending version of the scale. So let's start with ascending. So the first three notes, because we're coming off an open string, we are just going to hammer on like this. So we're going to play the open string. We're going to hammer onto the A and then we're going to hammer onto the B like that. Now this is where the pattern takes over on the second grouping. What we're going to do is we're going to play the first note with our plucking hand and then we're going to slide into the next note and then we're going to hammer like that. And then we're going to play the same pattern again coming off a of B. Slide, hammer, pluck the next note which is the C. Slide, hammer like that. And then we can complete the rest of the scale like that. Then when we descend, we're going to use this pattern. I want you to go up to the B at the top here. Put that down with your third finger. I want you to pull off and then slide back like that. And that's our basic pattern. Play the next note, which is the A. Pull off, slide back. Play the next note, which is the G. Pull off, slide back. And then the pattern continues. And then slowly, this is what you end up with. Once you've got that down, try it with the drum track up to tempo. So 
we covered how to break the scale up into groupings of three, which will really deepen your understanding of how the major scale works. We've talked about how to create this three note grouping pattern ascending and descending up the G string so you can elevate your fretboard knowledge and also to elevate your articulation and musicality, we've put in some left hand pull-offs, hammer-ons and slides, which will really make the whole thing sound more musical. But to wrap up this lesson, I wanna leave you with a little challenge. Once you've got this third example down, you could actually do all of it apart from the first note of each ascending and descending scale with your plucking hand and do the rest with your left hand fretting hand. Let me show it to you. See if you can figure this one out yourself. I'll put this example in the PDF below so you can try it too. So guys, that's it for today. Make sure you download that free PDF. Also, if you want to elevate your bass playing in general and specifically your fretboard knowledge, make sure you head over to ebassguitar.com. Check out the Bass Lab Plus because the fretboard elevation course will be going into the membership very, very soon. There's a link in the description below where you can check it out free, completely free for 14 days and take it for a test drive. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com and I'll catch you next week.